Hello folks, Storms here with a radio review of the Redivis RT21V two-way walkie-talkies. These operate in the MERS band, that is M-U-R-S. They are VHF radios. MERS stands for multi-use radio service it was created back in 2000 as a band for businesses and personal use they are license free they're limited to two watts but you can attach high gain antennas and you can send data with these devices. Uh, the MERS band is pretty versatile, but it's not, it didn't build a whole lot of steam up back in 2000. And even now, it's really getting some bad reviews. And I wanted to give an honest review of these radios because I'm sorry, but I gotta call some people out. You obviously did not try it. I've watched a lot of videos, folks. You obviously did not try to make these work. I'll show you what we get in the uh, package. You get a lot. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my good friend, Bella. She's a friend of, of mine for several years. And she uh, sent these radios off of my... Amazon wish list. Um, they actually, there was four radios, and I gave a set to Kentucky Goblin. We use GMRS a lot, but I thought, you know, I can't talk on four radios all at once, let alone one. <laughs> so I gave them a set. And I want to thank you, Bella, for sending these. And here's the review that you asked me to do. I hope you enjoy it. This is going to be an honest review. Uh, we have some real, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We have some real world conditions today. During our test, Kentucky Goblin and I tested these radios for range. And you will not believe the outcome. You will not believe what happened. It was, it's amazing. You'll see that here just in a little bit. Let me show you what comes in the box right there. There's the box in the background. So you get uh, an awesome, very well-written uh, user's manual. You get CIA, FBI, secret agent, uh, you know, tactical type looking earphones with a microphone. It does have a microphone built into it. We've already tested those out today. Um, it, it would take me a while to get used to that sound. They have a different sound to them, the ear earpiece, but I can see where they, you know, if you had to have both hands free, I could see where that would be very helpful. So they're not bad. It just takes me a little bit to get used to the sound. Um, you get belt clips, you get the screws, I actually got four packs of screws, so I think they're expecting you to maybe lose screws on accident, uh, the screws are for attaching the belt clip to the radio, there's a fancy dancy some people call them lanyards. They're actually rat wrist straps. <laughs> oh boy. Speaking is not my uh, strong point for some reason. <laughs> it's been a really weird day today. You can see that I've got them on a charger right now. The one on the right is green already. I had already charged it up yesterday. And we have used the radios. Uh, Kentucky Goblin did a range test for me. We'll see that here in just a minute or two. So uh, right now they are on charge. You can see the one on the left. 
is still in the charging mode. The one on the right is green. It's, it's ready. Ready to be used. Uh, the radios feel pretty good in the hand. They don't feel cheap. Although I wouldn't go around and dropping them on purpose. I did see a test. People were dropping them. And, you know, they're pretty rugged. They're, they feel pretty solid. Um, we also get uh, the two chargers along with the radio. Uh, two stock VHF rubber duck antennas now there are some high gain antennas out there they're not very expensive and they do help with your range quite a bit but when you see the uh, footage from our test you'll see that we may not really need them MERS would be a good plan if you wanted another service another radio service to jump to um, there's not a lot of traffic on them and that could be a plus uh, the chargers are, they basically look like your cell phone um, and iPad type chargers. It's got the USB port on it. You plug it into the wall, then you plug the charger into the uh, USB cord on the back of the charger there. So if you were out somewhere, you could probably just plug these right into your cigarette lighter in your car or your power station charge these radios up. I think they only took about two hours to charge. Uh, this one on the left hasn't been charged yet, so that's why it's still red. Uh, but yeah. So before I show that footage of our range test, I nearly forgot to tell you the features of the radio, which is pretty important. You got your on-off volume. One. And when you start these radios up, <laughs> I suggest you start them up at a low volume so that ringing right there, you know, doesn't blast you out. It's pretty loud. It's got a loud speaker on it. Um, so up here is your volume on off. Right here is your five channel uh, switch. Two, three, four, five, three. Two, one. Okay. Uh, on the side, you have your push to talk button. And this is your squelch button. This opens the squelch in case somebody, in case someone's a little bit about out, out of range, can't break the squelch, you might have a chance to hear them just by pressing that momentarily. Uh, transmit button on the top. Uh, you do get a um, K-type. Yeah. Okay, anyway. You do get uh, a K-type plug on the side here. So uh, you could plug the uh, either a hands set, which you can buy from Redivis on Amazon. Or um, you got the uh, FBI, CIA, Secret Agent, Tactical Ear piece that I showed you. It does have a microphone on it or a piece that plugs right in here. Um, this isn't, I wouldn't say this radio is waterproof per se. Uh, splash proof maybe, but I wouldn't really, I wouldn't dunk this in water on purpose. That does, that would keep dust and water out. Um, your screw holes right here. That is for uh, putting the belt clip on. Uh, if you want to take the battery off, you just press this button right here. It releases the battery. Uh, battery life, I don't know exactly just yet. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to do another video on that, maybe a follow up or something on the battery life. But other than that, I am impressed. And uh, anytime that you're gifted something through your Amazon wish list, the person who is buying the item for you and they have it sent to your home, you will get a uh, receipt. 
$45 for four radios. That's pretty darn impressive. The radio's impressive. So, as I said, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. It's humid out here. You got a copy on me? Hello? Yeah, there you are. Hello, Bird. Yeah, go ahead, Randy. I got a copy. I don't think it's, we're going to make it to the dairy dip. I'm going to try it. Yeah, it's not too bad right there. I'm going to try the dairy dip, but I'm at the end, I'm at the end of Black Pike right now. Yeah, it's clear as a bell there. I'll let you know when I get, I'll try to holler at the, at the dairy dip. Okay, I'm up here by the double wide, so. What was the double wide? I have to forgive the shaking. A rough day today. Uh, I'm going to pause this. We'll save some minutes. Uh, Kentucky Goblin should be just about at the dairy dip. I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope for that. But we'll see. It's three miles. And I've got advantage here up on the hill. You might say, well, he's cheating. He's on a hill. But you realize that I have to shoot through that right there to get to the dairy dip, which is in that direction. I sure can. Go ahead. I'm sitting right here at the dairy dip. <laughs> That's amazing. Dude. Sitting right here at the dairy dip walking around. Now see, there's a difference right there too. You couldn't do that with the with the map RS radio. So you walked around and you broke up from over there. Yeah. Sitting here at the dairy dip. Of course, they're closed, but I'm sitting here anyway. Three miles, man. That's amazing. Yep. Well, you know, on the map, how far it is across here. I, I was talking to the camera, basically, as people, whatever. <laughs> Well, I was waiting on you, and I was pointing out what we were having to go through to, to make this happen. And that big knob right here, Maxi Knob. Yeah, right there, where I'm standing right next to the car, I'm standing right behind a big tree, well, to the right of a big tree there. And uh, if I get in front of that tree now, it's a little, you, you drop down just a little bit, but if I stay away from that tree you now, it picks up. Yeah, it doesn't like anything close to it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm impressed. I mean, I can even hear the wind blowing across the microphone. Yeah, that's just as good as them GM, GMRS. Well, good. I I knew better, you know. I knew that they were their test and everything. These other channels, and I hate to call people out, but I could see that them other channels they didn't want it to work. No, they didn't want it to work. They had an agenda like everything else. I see there there you go. Proof's in the pudding. I'm gonna head back to the home twenty. All right, sounds good. Thanks thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll hardly, I'll hardly ask you when I get back home. Roger, roger, all right. Be be safe out there. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic out here. I'll catch you later. There you go, folks. I'll insert a map. I'll explain through Google Earth what we're having to pass through to get get to each other on these walkie talkies. Two watts, red of this RT twenty one V. Pretty impressive. Really just pretty impressive these radios. So, uh, yeah, I've got no complaints, man. Right up there with the uh, GMRS. And uh, shame on you out there and people that didn't try to make it work. You just threw something together and uh, hoped that it would work. Some of you talked to an SDR, which SDR is fairly sensitive. Some of you talked to your spouse. Some of you talk to yourself. <laughs> but you all came out with claims that these radios weren't worth the trouble. And I'm here to show you right now. To watch some VHF, you'd be pretty impressed. And that's with a stock stock antenna. There are antennas you can buy. They're fairly reasonably priced, too, that will extend your range. But look, we did it with a stock radio, stock microphone, albeit I was up on a hill, but uh, three miles, three miles from my location at my house here at Catlandia <laughs> to Dairy Dip over in Houstonville, Kentucky. Lots of stuff between us, even that big knob I showed you. Yeah, pretty impressed. So there you go. As I said earlier, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm a little disappointed that people didn't give, you know, the MERS radios a chance. I think some people need to go back and do their videos over again. Try a different approach. You know, these are, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty rugged. They're, uh, very loud as far as audio goes. And they seem to be a strong, a strong contender. Um, I know GMRS and FRS has become very popular. And it's been out, that radio service has been out since way, way back. Long, you know, before MERS. MERS was made uh, available to the American citizens back in the year 2000. And it's been around for 23 years now. And I can't believe, really, that more people don't use them. So... Um, you know, in a grid down, SHTF type situation, or just around the farm. Uh, maybe traveling between two vehicles in a caravan. These radios right here would foot the bill just as easily, if not better, because there's less traffic on MERS than GMRS. 
I'm always going to operate GMRS. That's my everyday go-to. Yes, I hold a license for GMRS. Have another nine years to go on that license. $35 for 10 years covers your whole family. But this is a nice alternative. Very well done, Redivis. Really, really impressed with your radios. I can't say it enough. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why these people have given it such bad reviews, but all I can say is step up your game, man. Go back out there and, and do a real, you know, try to make it work because obviously I just, uh, with my friend Kentucky Goblin, we've made it a point that these radios have impressive range. And we're in Kentucky, and we're having to deal with hills. So pretty impressive. I'm, I'm happy with the, with the gift. Once again, thank you, Bella, for sending these out. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I know it was quite quite a long video, but uh, there was a lot of information in there. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I'm going to put links to these products down in the description. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great day or a great night, whichever it may be for you right now. Don't forget to subscribe and like us and share us out.